Okay guys, this lesson is about how we're going to create some solutions and it'll help you guys with your research and when you guys go into the lab tomorrow, okay? So, after writing these five words down, you're going to follow along on my presentation and you're going to be thinking of solutions and you're going to be thinking of these five words, how they fit into the model that I'm going to create. Now, opposite this or on another blank piece of paper, depends upon how large you guys draw because you're going to have four circles. So, I suggest you have a, another piece of paper that's blank to write down what I'm going to put on the board. Okay? But if you write small, that's, that's fine. It's just because, again, we want to go along with the solution. Using less paper is a good idea, right? We can fit more in a small space. That's another thing to think about when you think about these five words. Putting things in smaller containers. Shrinking things. Using the entire paper. Does that make sense? Using the back of the paper. Okay? So, first... Yeah, this pen doesn't work very well. We have the earth. Okay? It's the first circle. And the earth provides us with natural what? Resources. Resources, right. All of our goods and services, correct? Everything that we consume comes from nature. Everything. Right. The good earth. Now, over here. Second circle. Goods and services. Okay? Materials. Consumer goods. Now we're going to have to use the other board. And then down here, we have a big circle that's going to be on both boards, okay, because they're connected. Population, this is us. Humans. You guys can do what you wish. You want to put humans in here? Population inside? That's fine. However you would like to be creative. You're going to be asked later actually to use this as part of your solution model for your research. Okay? So, are we good there, guys? And again, be as creative as you want, but this is what the model is going to look like. You guys can connect them. You know, you can have this one if you want to up top. I like to put it on the bottom, and there's, and there's a reason for this. This is a question mark. We don't know what this is yet. Hmm. We'll see if you can figure that out. Okay. In 1950, we talked about this earlier today. In 1950, the typical woman had two blouses, a pair of shoes, and a pair of pants, and maybe a dress. Okay? 1950. Yes, write this down. Yes. The average woman in the United States had two blouses, 
one pair of pants, one pair of shoes, and a dress. And the dress she wore for all special occasions. It could be church, weddings, etc., etc., social gatherings. This is 1950. However you want to connect it. Again, we want to consume less paper, so if you can manage, put this on one piece of paper. Now, we're going to use 2000. In 2000, okay, it's unlimited. How many, how many dresses do people have? They have closets full, correct? How many shoes do they own? Many. You know, we really don't know the average, but it's much more than one, and how many pairs of pants? Right? So what's happened is the goods and services and the material goods that we've had now from 1950 to 2000 have become much larger. Right? 1950, we had about 3 billion people. Okay? 2,000, 7 billion, and again, it's, it's closer to, we just, we just passed, actually, the 7 billion about three years ago, so it was actually 2010, but we'll just use this as our model, okay? We're about 7, 10, 7 billion, 100 million now. It's growing, okay? So, this circle is bigger. everything, the earth. But remember what we were just talking about, arable land? Well, not only arable land, but usable water. Okay? The area of land we can get our, our consumer goods from. So, what are, what are places and where are these places we get our consumer goods? Raise your hand. about the things we consume, guys. Where do they come from and what are they made of? Like water, rivers, and like snow mountains. But give me a consumer item that comes from these. Water. Comes from water? Yeah. It's filled with water. It's filled with water. Where does the bottle come from? What's it made of? Where's the oil? Where's the oil? Where does the plastic come from? Oil. Right? Where does the oil come from? The earth. And where, where, what part of the earth? Where else? Where else? Raise your hand. Texas. Where else? How about Africa? How about Russia? Everywhere in the world, right? Many places have oil. What else do we consume, guys, besides plastic? Paper. Paper. Where did that come from? Trees. Ah, there we go. What else do we make with trees? Furniture. Furniture. What else? Uh, bark. Like playgrounds. Okay, bark for playgrounds. What else? What do you guys live in? Houses. <laughs> How much wood do you think is needed to make a house? A lot. Hmm. So, all of these things, water, wood, oil, they're extracted from the earth, correct? We now have 40% less. We only have about 60% of the natural resources left. So this is shrinking. Where's my eraser? So this is how much of the earth is left for us to consume. So this is no longer a circle. Okay? Oops. Although this right here, does it affect this? So when this grows, does this grow? Yes. So what do you think this circle is? Anyone? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. What is it? Aha! Wait! Waste. So, when these two grow, does this grow? 
So since 1950, it's also grown. So, now let's go to our five words. On your paper, where those five words are, put them in the order you think they are most important. These are going to create your solution. Put them in order of importance. Which one is most important? Which one should be first?
You don't think it should be number two? What should be number two? Restore. So what's the difference between reuse and restore? You are. Almost? What do you mean almost? Fixing almost. Uh, I don't know what almost You either fix it or you don't. I don't think I almost fixed it, but it didn't fix it. Right. Fix it. Fix it. Yeah. Right. So find something new? Yeah. Uh huh. How about reusing? Yes. So between these three, boom, boom, they could be but in interchangeable as number two, right? You think they could be even? Can we practice all of them at the same time? Yeah. And why is recycle? Why why is recycle maybe not in that top four? Does recycling add to this? Yes, it does. And most people in the United States, sadly, don't even recycle, let alone do any of this right here. This is the most important thing. How many people in here think technology is going to save the day and we're going to find technology that will give us enough energy and it's going to be clean and it's not going to destroy the ecosystems of the world? How many people think that? Technology. Raise your hand if you think. You think technology will save us from ourselves? Think, Chloe? I think maybe one day it can Give me an example. You think that, you must have a reason. Do we know how to create 
water. We can't do it. So, like maybe, maybe we'll, we'll figure out a way. But right now, we don't. So, is it probably a good idea to reduce how much water we consume? No, no, that's not the point. The point is because of this, we don't have enough. Okay, again, at the trough, there are 200 people, enough drinking water. Now there are 400 people. Is there enough water? Even if nature replaces it at the same rate, which she does. Will there be enough water for these people year after year? Right. And then, of course, we're doing what you're talking about. We're also polluting. So, what is the answer to this scenario? What is the most important word up here to help deal with this? Reduce. Reduce all the things we consume. And it's like, you know, the guy who drinks a couple of beers a night. Okay? Maybe he just drinks one and then he replaces that with something else. You have to give up everything you love to make this thing work. You just reduce it. There's no word up here that says stop. Right? How many people are just going to go cold turkey and quit consuming water or buying their favorite foods? Probably not many people, correct? So, when you guys are developing your research plan, I want you to think of all of these words and how they fit in. It's really simple. It's like eating. Nutritionally, how should we eat? What should we eat? Be more, be more general this time. Those are all right. Generally speaking, don't think of nutrition. Just think in general, fresh food, right? Not processed food. Does processed food take energy and a lot of materials to create it? Fresh food usually doesn't do that. It takes energy to what? Produce it and carry it from the farm to the store. But does it take any packaging or processing? Very little, right? Fitness, the same thing. Stay active, correct? So it, it doesn't have to be this huge thing, right? If we can just add these into our daily life, these five words, can we... Can we uh, do something about this, shrinking this circle, and shrinking this circle. Can we? Because these are the two circles. This one right here, we can't really change the way people procreate and have children. We can certainly think about it and learn about it, right? But the population is going to grow even if we, you know, decide to have a planned family and maybe only just replace ourselves with two people. Now, what's the rule in the, in the law in China? Does anyone know? Right. If they have two, they pay big fines. Right? So, again, personally, think globally, act locally. If we just put these five words into our daily habits, do you think we can shrink these? Right. And again, Think of all the things we waste. Like shampoo and soap. Do you need to shower with soap every single time you shower? How long do you need to shower? Do you need to shower for 20 minutes? So, how long do you shower? Yeah. Can you, can you go down to 14? No, can you? You can, but you can, though, right? You can, you can shrink your shower time, correct? You can do it. It's possible. So, it's just a matter of doing it. Do you need a 15-minute shower? Do we need a 10-minute shower? And, and, again, it comes down to the need and the want, correct? So, now, what, what as far as you guys, uh, your, your research? on the, what you guys did, the cosmetics, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody has their own topic, correct? Right? So, Lindsay, what is your topic? What? 
Overpopulation. Joey? Global warming. What would be a solution using these five words for overpopulation? What's the first word that's the most important? Reduce. Now, how would you teach that? Could you use a model like this? I'm going to fall. Got up on the slippery slope there. How would you how would you teach it using this model? So, if we reduce this circle, simple enough, guys. If we reduce the population, will that shrink these two? Now, there are two words I want you to write down, okay? Finite, infinite. This is this. What does finite mean? Raise your hand. What does finite mean? Simply limited, right? There's only so much. There are only so many resources on planet Earth. Infinite is what we seem to think because of this. Well, I'll just buy a new one. We have, we have plenty. Okay. Infinite means there's no limit, correct? Oh, the Earth is a finite place. Is that correct? Well, because we can't create water, we only have so much water. We only have so many forests. We only have so many trees, right? We only have so much oil in the ground, right? So it's limited, and is it shrinking while these are growing, correct? This is growing. So eventually, these are going to squishy, squish each other unless we do what? First, reduce. And all this other stuff helps to reduce, right? If I reuse and restore, will that reduce my footprint? We're going to go over to the computer lab, and you guys are going to do your eco footprint. So it's kind of neat. You're going to find out how much water you use. And of course, the United States, California being the worst state for water consumption. Most of that is because of farming and keeping their lawn green, you know, 365 days a year. And again, that's just one example. Here, it's not so bad because we have winter time and we don't use as much water. But what do we use more of in the, in the winter time? Energy. Energy because of heat. So, can we maybe wear a sweater and make the temperature a little cooler in our house? That's one way to reduce, correct? So you guys, I want you to think of yearly, seasonally, et cetera, et cetera. Where can you reduce personally? And how do these Five words work together. So remember, guys, guys, recycling is the last resort. Let me tell you, everything that we send in to be recycled isn't necessarily recycled. Questions on this, guys? Does this help you guys with your research? Yeah. And it's, it's a simple equation. Again, it's like fitness. Stay active, right? Do something that makes your heart rate go up. Can we do that? Yeah. Do something that keeps your bone mineral density and your skeletal muscle strong. Eat real food. Eat food, again, like you said, comes from the garden to your plate. Eat fresh food. We make things really complicated, right? Oh, it's just so hard. It isn't. It really isn't, is it? We just you know, we have a lot of misinformation out there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go turn off the...